And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Ox Fatalis, or Libertatis. We are in one of these tunnels, right next to the Troll Kingdom, actually. We just killed a rat. We're trying to get to the uh, human settlement, which is supposed to be a level above us now. I'll try and make my way there rather quickly. I don't want to explore these areas really fully just yet. I really just want to get out of here. I can't carry anything anyway. Hey, you gonna make trouble, little rat? Fine. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was a bit overkill, but it worked. I'm just putting all the food out there in case it uh, vanishes, you know, when I leave this area. They're very pretty underground caverns, but completely unused, really. And some barrels, maybe from smugglers or something, but you could really put some kind of home in here, or, or mine these crystals, they're probably worth something. Anyway, this seems to be the way up. Lord, we have located an energy flux. Another one. Why are the immortals never content with their own dimension? But that is our eternal duty, I suppose, to ensure that the universal equilibrium is maintained. Where is the origin of the energy channel? An otherwise unremarkable world called Exhausta. The supplicant expired before he could finish the communication. What should we do, Lord? Let us send a guardian. Curious. Some kind of vision. Or maybe a memory? Interesting. Well, this place looks very much like a human castle, I would say, so... Welcome to Ark, sir. Go straight to the guard room and introduce yourself to Carlo, please. Ah, it looks like we found the human settlement. Very good. Now let's do what the nice man said there. This looks like something with soldiers in it. Hello? Guard, guard, a man. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. How you doing, dude? Respect the laws of the kingdom. Sure. I have an urgent message for the king. I am Carlo, captain of the guards. Our king, his majesty Lunshire, is in the throne room. Go into the castle, through the double door of the room with columns in. The king should be there. That's kind of easy to get an audience with the king, it seems. Very nice. Ooh, weapons. You know, maybe we'll, we can steal one of those. Um, maybe later. These guys don't seem so friendly. Well, actually, Carlo is leaving. This may be our chance to grab an axe. Whoa. No, I don't want to steal from people. I, I'm, I, I'm bad at stealing, okay? Well, at least at stealing from people directly. I would rather spe steal from their stuff. Hey! They don't mind. I don't think it counts as stealing if they don't care. Right, so this is Ox, and it's pretty much the focal point of the game. I mean, I, I kind of called the entire place Ox, but this is the city of Ox in the mine of Ox. So the city. Don't go too close to the crypt entrance. But I'm a big girl now. You're not that big. The crypt entrance is right here. Hello, strange man. I'm Shaney. Have you come to take me back? Ma and the guards are always telling me to stay out of here because things from the deeper levels can get in through the crypt. But I like playing with the stone heroes. Tell me about the crypt, Shaney. Well, don't tell anyone. 
But one day, when the door wasn't shut properly, I went all the way down four levels. Ooh. It was really scary. Okay, I have to go now. See you later. She's really trusting and it seems dangerous. <laughs> you know, I'm a half-naked man from God knows where and she just talks to me like that. Okay, whatever. This is Ark, as I was trying to say. Basically, the city of Ark had this mine near it, back when the sun still existed. And uh, then they relocated Ark into this level of uh, of the mines. So this is the new city of Ark, if we will. And this is pretty much the focal point of the game, and it's also where I'm gonna drop a lot of my items. The people won't steal them, of course. So this is a nice spot to uh, start storing my stuff, but we're gonna do that once we've talked to the king, because uh, I guess you don't probably want to see me sorting items, that's not very interesting, I would say. But here's a, a woman, and uh, she is kind of important. Welcome. Welcome. Do you want to say something else? What's she doing with her mouth? Have a look in these chests and help yourself. Yeah, okay, so this is how trading works in the game. You have a chest and you have to pick items out of them and you see the, the amount of coins it costs. And uh, so it's self-service basically, but you still have to pay, obviously. You can't just steal from those chests. What I'm looking for is something very specific. This thing, a key ring. And this may seem silly, but you get a lot of keys in this game. And having a key ring is really helpful in that regard. Oh, runes! Oh, they are way too expensive, I can't afford those. But I do want to have that key ring. And once you have one, you can apply the key that you collected and save on inventory space. See? It's a very helpful item. Right, so uh, this must be the ancient crypt, so we're not going in there. Instead, we should probably talk to Lunshire. I'm gonna use this axe because it's a bit stronger than my sword. Why not? And let's try and find the king's castle. Ark is, of course, full of people that you can talk to, and some are even relevant. <laughs> but uh, I don't think we're gonna do that just yet. I really want to focus on uh, the main story for now, just so we can get a little bit further ahead. And that's the actual castle of the king, which is quite impressive. I mean, it was built right into the wall of the mountain. They kind of excavated the, the, the mountain there. Alright. Hello. We are the protectors of the kingdom of Arcs. Yeah, you are awesome. At your command. The guards at the outpost? I escaped from one of the goblin prisons and I've been sent by Ortiern. He and his men are trapped at your outpost. He says he needs help to clear the pathway to the castle, which is blocked by a landslide. They have also been attacked by a small number of Ilses and will be unable to resist another attack. Good heavens! These are grave tidings, Anshigar. You have done our kingdom a great service, and you have our deepest gratitude. You will be rewarded commensurate with the risks you've taken to bring us this news. This cave-in is no small problem, however, and its solution will take some consideration. I have decided on a course of action. You will take this message to Pog, King of the Trolls. His people are very capable miners. They have even helped construct this village. The Trolls live one level below us. You may have encountered them already. They are just as ugly as goblins, but five times the size. But relations are excellent between our two kingdoms, just the same. We have a shared hatred for the Ratmen. I am sure they will provide immediate help. It seems I can't escape being drawn into these events. 
Well, I shall help you. But I expect your help in return. Do not fear. You shall be well rewarded for this task. Gold will do me little good if I can't regain my memory. I'm sure it will all come back to you. The goblins must have given you a serious knock to the head, that's all. Don't worry. And now, I beseech you, take this message as the kingdom's emissary to Pog, king of the trolls. Maybe you could give your emissary something to wear? I mean, I don't know, a shirt, something? Weird mustache. Oh well, that's how it goes, I suppose. Well, we're gonna have to do some more work then. But before we go to Pog, now that we have a reason to talk to him, I'm sure the troll at the gate will let us in. Council room. We're gonna explore the castle a little more later on. But here is the kitchen. And why do I want to show you this? Oh, oh I know what I forgot. You forgot the fish. You don't have any fish to cook. No, anyway, um, this is just to demonstrate some of the things you can do in this game. I'm just gonna loot a little bit. Da, 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 da. We're gonna have to come back here and loot more, obviously, but... Um, here's the, the chamber where they keep all their recipes, and... We can read that. Is a, it's a recipe for ciambles or ciambles? I don't know how to pronounce it. Mix the sugar and flour, add the required amount of water, and knead the dough until it is of an even consistency. When this has been done, put it in the oven, taking care not to burn it. Once it is cooked, take a chicken's egg and mix the white and the yolk. Spread this mixture on your cake and put it back in the oven for a minute or so. We'll have to try that at some point. But uh, you can also cook rather simply in this game, or bake stuff. We do have flour, quite a lot of it actually. We do have water, and we have some other things. So why don't we make use of that? Do we have a rolling pin somewhere here? Guess I shouldn't have dropped it, eh? Can I pick that stuff up? Some of it. Huh. Oh. oh, I know what I forgot. She just killed that mouse. Oh, poor mouse. Can I loot it? No. Right. So let's uh, let's just try and bake something, shall we? So we need water. We have plenty of water there. And apply flour. So I'm gonna put down this, this rope for a moment. So we have bread dough, right? So we can just bake the bread directly. Hmm. Or we can try mixing it with an apple, I guess. No, it doesn't work. I, I guess that, that requires actually to turn it into something else. But we just made bread, so now we can eat that stuff. That's kind of cool. Where's the rolling pin? You don't you, you don't have a rolling pin in your kit? She kicked What's another mouse. I, I, I'm sorry, but I guess I can't show this off without a rolling pin. So we're going to have to go back to the Goblin Kingdom to get a rolling pin and get out of the way. Let me go. She's evil. Did you see her face? She does not have a rolling pin. This is a pathetic kitchen, you know that? Whatever. But you can basically cook some various types of food this way. Using flour hmm. and ingredients and a rolling pin and you can even, well, make pies. We'll have to do that later on then. Pick up my rope. And try and make our way towards Pog. On the other hand, uh, hmm. I want to sort my inventory before we do that. So let's talk to a few more people in this castle instead. Uh, let's get that done. This place seems familiar. Huh. Some kind of prison cell. Nobody's here though. Seems that nobody... Yeah. Okay. No crime in Ox. Probably all criminals were already executed or something. Lancha is probably the worst king ever. No, I don't know. <laughs> it is interesting though that they have so little room for prisoners. E oh. 
Oh! Lucky me! What the hell is this place? Oh, now I'm locked in. Okay. That didn't accomplish anything. Is there anything in there? Maybe maybe I missed something in there, so I'm gonna have to try that again. Um, it's just a shortcut, I guess. Is there anything in this place? Huh. I don't see anything. Maybe it's really just a shortcut, but it's a weird thing to have. And it's even forcing me to go that way. It's a one-way shortcut, even. Very strange. You should really do something with that place. It's uh, kind of pointless. <sighs> Look, I'm a bit too busy to talk right now. You don't seem very busy. You ju we're just yawning, standing around in a corner. Hello. Hello. Right. Council room is locked, of course, because everything important has to be locked. I like how they have their, their, their insignia on every lamp, basically. And that doesn't seem to be a fire-based lamp, because it's not flickering at all. Is that like magic crystal or something? Could believe it. Let's go the other way, then. Maybe there are more hidden buttons that we can push. Uh, guard's room. Dagger. Bread. Just gonna take your... I guess I'm not gonna take your bread. Ooh, a helmet! Requires 14 strength. Oh. I do not yet have the skill to do that. Yeah, I'm not good enough at that. But it's good to know where a good helmet is waiting for us, I guess. Oh, just drank that. Yeah, you can uh, keep empty bottles, so that's also an important ingredient if you want to make new potions. Having an empty, empty bottle can be useful. You can really tell... Ooh. A scroll. I don't want to take it with me. It's a healing spell. But I don't want to leave it there either, so we're just gonna put it here. You can really tell uh, how things were built by different people, because this, this looks to be some kind of ventilation system. And it's all made of metal and, and rough rock, so I guess this was built by the dwarves. And uh, it makes sense, I mean, imagine if there were no such ventilation systems, all these people living down here, they would all suffocate after a couple of weeks at the most. Library and laboratory. Huh? Oh. It's a... Uh, it's a snake woman. Oh, She's scary. But not hostile. I must give this message to the head troll. The trolls are working in their minds. Two levels down. You'll be able to spot the head troll pretty easily. He's the most ridiculous. No, I wouldn't say people look ridiculous while wearing that headdress. That looks silly. You look like a bunny. A snake bunny. Let yourself be infused with the wisdom in these tones. Uh, maybe later. Thanks, though. Yeah. Know your gods and demons. Huh. We're gonna have to spend some time reading that stuff. Are you sure Lancia is okay with you drawing blood pentagrams on the floor? On the carpet floor, especially? Let your mind lose itself in this library. And perhaps you will find some volume to help you. I'd rather not lose my mind, but thank you. Yeah, she's creepy, but apparently very capable and useful to Lancia. Observatory. 
These are nice stained glass windows, even if they're tiny. Hmm. An observatory would have to have connection to the outside world. Maybe we can sneak a peek. Or maybe we can just look at the stars or something. It's certainly way up. Hmm. There's a magician or probably an astronomer or astrologer, more like. Hello. I am the new astronomer. I was assistant to poor Fallon Orba Planix, and since his death, I do my best to look after the observatory. Sui bearers. I, I can't remember noticing that. That is bizarre, Zoe Bearers. I, I don't... Whatever. Let's try and look through this thing. Oh, looks like the moon. The surface of the moon, more like. And there's the Milky Way. Or whatever galaxy this is in. Pretty. Well, I'm gonna leave you to your things, Zoe Barris. Creepy guy. I guess if you stare at the stars all the time, you may be a bit creepy. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> it's the snake woman. I don't trust her either, actually. It's all very creepy in this place, isn't it? Well, I guess it's under control of Lunshire, so it's it's all right for now. Excuse Hello. me. You're not allowed to walk in these parts. Aw, damn it. Wanted to explore some more, but I guess not. Well then, folks, I think we're gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna leave the castle and uh, try and sort through my items and leave some of them yeah in in arcs behind and next time we return we're gonna go to pog and try to deliver the message which by the way we should probably read uh, where's the message pog me lunchire need help path to humans outpost blocked big boulders if trolls can unblock pathway, me happy. L. Guess that's high diplomacy there for the trolls. Well then, folks, see you next time. Bye!